Hey guys, welcome back to Vicariously Vintage Acres. Today I'm going to make some mayonnaise and I thought I'd bring you along. I have some leftover grilled chicken that I want to make chicken salad with and I bought a giant pack of coleslaw mix from Sam's and I want to make some homemade coleslaw and the best way in my opinion to do that is with homemade mayonnaise. So let's get right to it. Okay, so first of all, you want a container that's going to be large enough uh, to hold about a cup and a half worth of stuff, and it is going to expand some, so keep that in mind. I have, okay, let me start by saying that most people tell you to drizzle your oil in slowly to make it emulsify properly, and I have done that and done that and done that, and half the time it doesn't work for me. So what we do is we just go ahead and add one egg yolk, one whole egg, We're going to add salt to taste, and usually I use raw apple cider vinegar, but a few days ago I bought this from Aldi to try. It's organic pomegranate vinegar, and I thought that might be a really great uh, addition, so we're going to try that. We're adding about a tablespoon or so of vinegar. And again, you can use whatever vinegar you'd like. I have actually put the leftover pickle juice in this and it tastes phenomenal. You can have that uh, pickle taste without the pickles. I know some people don't like the texture of pickles. We're adding about a teaspoon of just regular yellow mustard. You can add Dijon, you can add whatever mustard you like with that. And then I'm going to use the avocado oil. This is also from Aldi. You can use a, I think it's extra light olive oil. You want something that's not going to lend too much flavor to this. If you use just regular olive oil, it tends to have a really potent taste and won't taste too good. If you use regular coconut oil, it's going to go rock hard in the refrigerator and you won't be able to spread it. However, fractionated coconut oil is really good for this. You can also use a mixture of oils. You can put in, like when I have the good uh, taste-free olive oil, I'll mix avocado oil and the olive oil. So now what we're going to do is just stick my immersion blender in all the way to the bottom and I'm going to put it on medium. I'm just going to start blending. So I know it's a little bit loud. I want to show you how this comes together and how it emulsifies. Let's see. Put this right here. See if that'll focus. see how I'm rocking it back and forth and how I am sorry about that guys I'm trying to get this to where you guys can see it really well but you can see how I'm rocking it back and forth and I'm slowly lifting it up and down and I don't know if you can tell but it's already thickening up so we're just gonna keep at this for a moment <laughs> Can you see how nice and thick that is? Can you see that? That's beautiful. That's perfect. So now, what we're going to do, I'm going to put you back over here for a minute. So now all that's left is tasting it. Mm, that is perfect. And that vinegar, wow, that lends a whole different taste to this. Like I said, we're used to using the raw apple cider vinegar, but that is really amazing. So there, with this, you can just throw it into the refrigerator or you can use it immediately for chicken salad or coleslaw. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in the fridge for now and in a little bit. <clears throat> I will go in and do another video today. We're going to make coleslaw, like I said, and we're going to make some chicken salad. So I'd love to bring you guys along for those. 
They probably won't all be posted today. I don't want to take up terribly much time in one video, so we're just going to do this in kind of short snippets. But yeah, I mean, you can see how thick that is. That's really, really thick, and it is yummy. I went several months where for some reason I was unable to make this. It came out runny every time. And it was really disheartening, but that went on for a couple few years. And then I turned around one day and I made this and it set up beautifully. And everyone tasted it and were like, oh, mom or honey. I can't, or I, you know, they had forgotten how good real mayonnaise tasted. So give it a try. Let us know what type of vinegar you used, if you used something different. Um, apple cider vinegar, peach vinegar, pear vinegar, any of the vinegars that you make, as long as it's a good acidic vinegar. Um, and let us know what you think of it. So hope you guys have a very blessed day. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.